just uh, want to say thanks to uh, the Family Leadership Summit for having myself and Kevin McCullough out here today. Uh, as was mentioned, we do a radio show called Baldwin McCullough Live, uh, a very unique program where Kevin McCullough, my partner in the program, uh, he's kind of a serious professional, and then there's me. Uh, and I, I, I gotta tell you, that not until I became authentically a Christian right after 9-11 did I really understand what I was getting myself into uh, as a morning of Christian. Uh, trust me when I say that, particularly in Hollywood. Uh, and it's also nice, I was standing off in the wings, and I know I'm in a room full of real Christians, because when he mentioned Big Brother, they all were very graceful. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But uh, it's fun for me to be here. It's, it's, uh, it's really a blessing for me to have the opportunity to stand up for my faith uh, because in Hollywood and in the movie-making industry, uh, I must tell you, uh, it, it's obvious to all of you, but uh, you, you'll never really fully comprehend what that feels like, unless you're in it and you're doing it each and every day. But I had an opportunity yesterday to speak to a whole lot of the young people here involved in the summit. And the one really important message for me, and the one very important motivation that I tried to share with them, was our own each individual responsibility to stand up for what we believe in. And um, it, it's, again, it's, it's not real easy. I'm, in other ways, I'm kind of uniquely qualified to be here at this podium this morning. Um, I assure you, there'll be many wonderful speakers, all of them very qualified and experienced, but I assure you, I am the only one that will speak to you today that has been fired by Donald Trump. <laughs> so, uh, that was rather unpleasant as well. Uh, but I, I joke around because, again, the blessing for me is, like when we do the radio show, and when I go around the country and I do evangelism to young people, I like to try to connect and communicate with people in a way that is fun, uh, but meaningful. And for me, to stand up as a person of faith, it's not something that I think about too much. Because as a Christian, the Bible calls me to stand up for what I believe in. And I, and I Really, there's, there's going to be a lot of messages given today, all, all very important. And to those young people yesterday, what I wanted to really communicate to them were these two things. You really cannot communicate or share with something, share with people rather, something that you don't have inside of you. And when I became a Christian, I was crazy enough to actually believe what the Bible said. And I'm crazy enough to believe that every word in the Bible is true. So, really, for who I am and where I'm at in my walk of faith, which is uh, a very sometimes strange but unique place, uh, particularly in Hollywood, it's ironic because on the way in here just now, literally walking in, I had a, a very nice young lady say to me, you know, Stephen, God bless you for standing up for what you believe in, in your world, meaning Hollywood. And the next thought I had, I, I, I said thank you very much, but the next thought I had was, 
Well, as Christians, isn't it equally as important, and perhaps even more important, that it doesn't matter who you are or what you do? What's probably more important than my standing up for Jesus in Hollywood is for each and every one of us to stand up for Jesus in this normal, regular world that we live in. And I don't just say that to say something common sense, logical, and obvious. I'm here today to say that I believe in the next decade and beyond, what will be critically important to creating the change that we all have gathered here to talk about and strategize about and all that, what will have the greatest impact on that is you. I said yesterday to the young people, we all think now that we've arrived in this place in our country's history that we're we're standing here going, how are all these things happening? How are all these changes happening to society and the culture in such a way that we're, as Christians, we're slapping our heads and we're saying, what, what's, what, how is this happening? And we can get into all kinds of theological conversations about that. But the bottom line is, as individuals, we are, where we go, if we do the very best that we can, each and every day, to be unafraid to stand up for our faith, then that change is going to start to happen. So that's really the most important message I wanted to share with each and everybody here today. I mean, there's, there's bigger thoughts about that. Senator Grassley, you know, said we're endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. Well, for me, the greatest right to within that thought is the freedom we have to be Christians. And we have a God, we have an Almighty. Amen. And we have a God, and, and we have a God, and we have an Almighty that, in my opinion, based on Scripture, has an expectation for us to stand up for that faith. I so, again, um, I'm about to leave this podium and jump in a car. I have to fly to Los Angeles because uh, there's a very special Christian film festival happening in Hollywood tonight and I have to go present an award at the award ceremony. It's called the 168 Film Festival. It's a wonderful thing. And again, I'm going to be coming from Iowa, jumping right into Hollywood tonight. It'll be uh, different. <laughs> but for me, without question, one of the greatest blessings for me gets back to what that gal said to me on the way in here. She said, God bless you, Stephen, for standing up in Hollywood. But as I was saying before, and as I said to the young people yesterday, you can't give what you don't have. So each and every day, I do what I know is the most important thing to start my day. I'm in the Word, and I pray. I do my very best to stay connected to the Bible. And that's a discipline that is critical for me. As a result of that, it's the, the power of God's Spirit operating in my life that allows me to not shy away from being bold for Jesus Christ. But once again, uh, a lot of very important messages are going to be communicated today. And in the work that I do outside of Hollywood, I'm getting ready to a real fun Christian film coming out October 18th. It's called I'm in Love with the Church Girl. It's going to be pretty cool. Y'all will be hearing about it. But that's the one thing, absolutely, that in this creative person's heart and mind is the most important message to try.
try to impart to each and every one of you today. And that is, I challenge you. From the bottom of my heart, I challenge each and every one of you in this room to pray about it and do the very best you can. No matter what the repercussions are. Because it's only by the Spirit of God that the change that we hope for is going to come. So thank you very much, and thank you for having me.